Hello, welcome back to Brother Sushi Life Modding. Today we're gonna take a look at how we can do um, kind of like a drawing but with us uh, using grease pencil and then we can sort of snap the grease pencil so so everything is uh, nice and kind of in the grid. So we will be using Spatchalk add-on and Animation Nodes add-on. So let's get started. So go to the top view and draw like a, some kind of simple grease pencil drawing. So I'm using my mouse, but imagine if you are kind of drawing uh, like a map of a gallery, maybe your own gallery. So just something simple like that. It's a single stroke. I, I, I'm kind of curious if you can also do multiple strokes. Okay, so that's uh, that's our drawing there. Uh, snapping vector. So the idea is kind of to to work to make it so that we uh, is it snapping to the grid. Um, so with stretch off we don't have it, but uh, with animation nodes we actually have a way to do it. Let me try if we can get animation nodes to work. Okay, animation nodes is already loaded, but it's not loading on this one, but it's okay. Gonna come back to it very quickly. So we convert it um, into a real, like a polygon mesh. It's actually just edge, but we're gonna try to kind of bake it and s so we can snap it in s using animation nodes. So vector. I'm kind of wondering if uh, Stretch can do this also, but uh, from what I know, it I don't think they have snap. It it has vector math and there is a actually round to s digits. Kind of wondering if that's kind of doing the same thing. So it's uh kind of do it well it is actually kind of doing it um, already so all right that's actually a good thing it uh, seems to be working and I was gonna be using animation notes but anyway so we have this maybe we can kind of play around with it a little bit so Offset lines doesn't seem to work. I know we have a contour 3D as well. So I'm trying to kind of transfer these two lines and convert it into something that's a little bit more 3D. Let me try viewer draw. Again, this one seems to be complaining about something. Float deficient by zero. Float deficient by zero. Okay, it's kind of working a little bit just now. Okay, this one is not bad actually. So this it is kind of work. For contour 3D now and let's try this also. Offset doesn't work. Offset line, vertices, polygon. Okay, offset line is actually sh this is supposed to work. I don't know. Okay, this is a little bit better. File save as. So we have some kind of wall for our gallery. So the the idea is to make some kind of gallery space I was originally uh, want to use the vector snapping but that's probably can be another video the animation notes vector snapping works 
really really well so let me try and round this see see this where I don't I don't get it it's kind of refused to work when it's uh, smaller maybe here I can kind of control the number of point first of all so that's kind of resampling our grease pencil right and this one is offsetting it this one is also doing the same thing but it's making a contour uh, I wonder why see if I go too small it just refused to work anymore it should still work Oh well, for now, our gallery will have a wobbly wall. Continue, extrude, polygon, extrude separate or extrude. Extrude region, that's probably what we want. By metrics or along the normal? By metrics also okay. Just provide a Z so we got a wall should be easy enough and this is something that you can bake of course there you go so I think that's kind of alright so the nice thing about this is that it's, it is actually live and you can so if you don't want to bake all the time, you can always create this. So right away, if you go to the top view and just draw um, a new design of your of your gallery. Okay, we need to have our grease pencil back. And you update so it's become just a floor with a wall uh, I couldn't snap it somehow this this doesn't work somehow but uh, I think maybe there's a bug or there's another way to do this but yeah there you go if uh, you can kind of create your own gallery maybe something like this that's the entrance goes in look around it's gonna update and you can control the height and you just need to put up some paintings around it and you can make like some kind of virtual gallery so that's actually my plan uh, yeah that's gonna be for the next one but you see here this is the this is the line that we created earlier this one has a snapping already working it should actually work uh, before I don't know why but it's just a matter of extruding it and then solidifying it this also kind of work okay maybe it's uh, because it's oh, okay it has a lot of different pieces that's actually not too bad as well you can always remove double though yeah anyway just a quick way how you can uh, turn grease pencil into uh, 3d design uh, you might see there's a there's a delay there so it's actually this is a trick right just use a frame info plug into this guy that's a uh, thanks to Zephy to fix that actually it's really really good really useful so grease pencil into something that's a uh, 3d and with grease pencil of course you can always edit strokes and put it in the right place something like that alright hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time bye